All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here today. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup. No missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight, more than five years apart, with the same height and a similar reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hobart, Indiana, Bullet Crew. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibago Meda! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your plane. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, you 
start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Slips that left hand. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was gonna attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big punch land. Ooh. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and a nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbo, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Under two minutes to go. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Minute and a half to go in our opening round. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. One minute to go in round one. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip and push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Good work from the top here by Nermago Medov. Ten seconds to go. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet. He may not have to. He may not have to, but he's got to hold the top of the There's danger when you're standing on top of the opponent like that. You've got to watch up kick. Notice how he leads his hip when he goes to land the strike. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern-day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it in the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you 
push a guy to the side of the octagon, they use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers until eventually you're gonna turn to your knees, he'll take your neck and choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's, it's crazy to watch him dictate his opponent's actions with his power from this position. Not many guys can generate that type of right. power. You gotta go back to guys like Mark Munoz. They used to call him the Filipino smashing machine yeah. because he was so good with his ground and pound, and this guy shows that same exact type of approach. Misses with the left hook. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermando Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nermando is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great time with his left hand. Try to establish that jab. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big leg kick land. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Right, closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Look at the turtle in that kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Another strike to the head land. win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Looks like a hook to the body there on the counter. Yes, good work by Nermago Meta. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, a huge block there. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this option. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Nice kicks. Nermago Menov gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just misses with the jab there. Final seconds. Oh, and he caught the kick. Round three next. Right, no 
Hotel Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Wow. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice knee to the body there. Blocks the shot. Nice punch lands. And they separate. Slips. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands often. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedowns. A oh, little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Nice high kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Right hook to the head block. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Nice strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Timely defense there, huge block for him. That knee might have landed there. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. And he lands the knee to the body now. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good punch. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Just missed with that right hand. Knee to the body, it is blocked. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lands flush with the left hand. from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Sit back, relax, and breathe. Listen to me now. We're getting sloppy with those takedowns. All right, here we go with our next round. And how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs. And when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head. And largely, that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be. And it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head. And he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so... Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Beautiful knee. Vicious knees raining down here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their... Oh! He's out! He got him! <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 55 seconds of round number four. He played the winner by... Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.